Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright series. A very short video, how to record a video while doing the execution with the Playwright. Playwright is having the native feature. You don't need to use any third party tool now. You can just simply set some configuration in your browser context and then you are good to go. And that's it. It will generate one a video file for you. You can just open that video file in your favorite browser. In fact, you can set the screen size. You can decide where exactly these uh, video files will be stored in your project directory or any C drive or D drive anywhere you can store that. So let's see how to do this. So this is a simple script that I'm already having it. You can see that the browser context and then opening a new page and then launching the application and then doing some something over here, filling some form, sign up form over here. Okay. So what do you have to do in the browser context level? You have to set some settings. So what you just need to pass, you need to create the new browser over here like this dot and then there is one method that is uh, new context options available and then with the new context option you have to set video recording so there is one method that is called set record video directory over here can you see that so there are two methods actually set video directory method and video size method so we will see both you can set the integer width and height also so let's see video directory and in which directory you want to store the data i mean you want to store this particular a video file so we will be using a parts dot get and then just simple pass the any directory name for example let's see my videos and put a forward slash so what will happen this my videos folder will be created automatically by playwright under this particular project if you want to give any specific uh, a directory also that also you can do that so let's see i'll just write in the new line so that you can see it's clearly here okay so browser dot new context and then pass the new context options and then that's it one condition you have to remember once your script is done do not forget to close the browser context so with the same browser context you are opening the new page and once your script is done please browser context dot close page dot close and finally playwright dot close if you don't write browser context dot close it will not record the video for you okay so let's see it is working or not so i'm just going to right click run as java application and uh, it's a simple uh, four to five seconds of uh, execution see it's opening my website filling the form and then done and then closing the browser and everything is done and you just need to right click on your project and refresh it and you will see that my videos folder got created nice under this my videos folder one file is available and the file extension is dot web m file it means you can just open in a specific browser for example let's you right click on it go to properties copy the path of this particular uh, file and then open your favorite browser for example let's see this time i'm going to open a firefox and uh, let me just show you here this is my firefox and then enter this path over here and you can see the video recording can you see nice see you can just do in the maximize window also and then you can just run it again see just play it again so this is the video recording is there and whatever that the scenario was there it will be recorded automatically and then that's it if you really want to set the screen size right now the screen size is like that if you really want to set the screen size that also you can do that what you just need to do set video directory after that you have to add one more option that is called set record video size so i'll just put a dot and see this set record video size and you can give the width and height for example let's say i'm giving the width and height is around 640 and the height i'm giving let's see 480 <clears throat> the specific video height and width if you want to give that so i'll do one thing let me just run it again if you are having the multiple scenarios or multiple test methods are running in the parallel mode it will automatically create it will take care of the multiple recordings it will not override the previous recording or something like that i mean multiple recordings will not be overridden by that so now if you refresh it once again so here you can see one more folder got created i mean one more file got created again you right click on it or i'll do one thing i'll directly open this firefox and uh, i'll go to this folder my videos folder directly over here and then i can open the first one see this is the first one i'm going to open that let's see the video recording now you can see the screen size is slightly different so you can just set up the screen size the bigger side also you can take it perfect so this is how you simple set the video recording and uh, it's an inbuilt native feature is available you don't need to do anything any third party tool 
you don't need to use that i'll do one thing i'll push this particular code to my git repository share the url with you guys just have a look and then check this particular video recording feature in playwright so that's all for this particular video guys i hope it's clear and uh, please subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all